Welcome back. We have another great subject for you today. No positive thinking. It's day six of the Personal Freedom Revolution Challenge. And imagine that, being told not to think positive by somebody in my position, when all you've ever heard is think positive and positive things will happen. Well, you've also been told to dream big and make goals, and I've told you not to dream big and no goals. You've also been told to always write down your goals in order to make them happen. And I've told you, I don't care if you write your goals down. Now I'm telling you, no positive thinking. Well, first of all, let's look at the name of what we're doing, a personal freedom revolution. It wouldn't be much of a revolution if we just did things the same way, would it? After all, a revolution is about changing things, not going with the status quo and having a paradigm shift in what's going on. And that's what I want to create for you, a paradigm shift in thinking, realizing that you can be in charge of your life and that you are powerful no matter what. Well, in order to be powerful no matter what, we have to treat life like life really is. And life is not always positive. Bad things happen. People get foreclosed on, people go through divorces, people die, people get cancer, people go bankrupt. All sorts of things happen in life that don't feel positive and don't put us in a positive frame of mind. To think that we should run around with a happy face 24-7 is unrealistic and not preparing you to really take charge of your life. It's telling you that no matter what, you should just always be positive and positive things will happen. Well, you can create positive things even when you're not feeling positive. Because what I want you to understand is how you feel is how you feel. And I want to honor how you feel. But how you feel isn't in charge of what you do. You can't say, I am doing what I'm doing because this is how I feel. Because then you have a blank check to, to drink, to eat, to watch TV, to be in a bad mood, to spend money because I'm doing this because of how I feel that I don't have any control over my behavior, it's just how I feel. No, I honor how you feel. But no matter how you feel, you can always control what you do. You're always in charge of your actions. Your feelings do not control your actions. You always have a choice. And that's why you're resolved to be your personal best. You're resolved to be your personal best when you're feeling good and when you're feeling bad. And both will happen in our life. And that's okay, that's life. Life is all sorts of events. The event is unimportant. The response to the event is important. That comes from I Ching, and it's a very important quote that I love. And you can always choose what you do in response to what events take place. The event doesn't control us. I love a mantra which is, my attitude is my decision. Better than that, my choices are my decision. Better than that, my life is my decision. And your life, as I said, is going to be filled with good and bad events. But the events don't control your behavior. You do. And that's why I really want to concentrate on understanding that. And I'm going to further go into that in the podcast because it's not all one positive trip. Doing any program, my program, anybody's program, reading any book, gaining any knowledge, is not going to all of a sudden change life that everything is just going to be perfect. Life is going to be filled with adversities and issues and problems and that's okay. That's part of life and that goes on for everybody. In any socioeconomic stratosphere you are going to encounter all sorts of issues because people do die, get sick, have issues, divorces, all sorts of things. Again, that's life but you're always in charge. And that's a very important point. You're always in charge. I love saying this saying, and I'm going to tell you why very soon, but who owns you, baby? You own you. And you own you in a bad mood, in a good mood, in bad events, in good events. You own your decisions. And that's what we're getting to. So before we make any commitments or get on to the changes that we want to create, we have to make sure that we understand that we own ourselves. Now, the other side of no positive thinking is always having a positive outlook. And this is very important. I don't care what you think about what's going on today. You have to believe that you can do something today to make tomorrow better. That tomorrow always has the possibility of being better. 
And that's very important because the moment you don't believe that tomorrow can be better, then it doesn't make a difference what we do today. We always have to honor our future self with our behavior today. Enjoy today as much as we can, but honor our future selves. So we have to remain positive about our outlook. No positive thinking, but definitely you have to keep a positive outlook. And that's where the grateful list ties into everything. Because I explained to you in the beginning that when you're grateful, you have hope. And when you have hope, you believe that things can get better. And when you believe things can get better, you're motivated to take action. When you take positive action, you make things better, and then you have more to be grateful for. So that's why the grateful list is so, so important. Stick with that grateful list. Stick waking up and smiling and enjoying your smiling and being resolved to be your personal best without positive thinking, knowing that there's a positive outlook and that you're always in control of your choices no matter what's going on. So imagine this, no big goals, no writing goals down, and no positive thinking. Sure, taking a lot of pressure off you right now. Doesn't it kind of feel good just to know that you can be a human being, you can be you, and you as you are is okay. I accept myself as I am, and I'm getting better every day. I accept myself as I am, and I'm getting better every day. I accept myself as I am, and I'm getting better every day. And every day, we can get into action with our choices being resolved to be our personal best, to honor our future, and make our lives better as we go through this journey, trying to enjoy as much as we can, realizing happiness to the extent that we can feel it in each and every day. So listen to the podcast, go over the notes, and understand that my attitude is my decision, and your attitude is your decision, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for another Personal Freedom Revolution Challenge video. Thanks for watching.